Have you ever wondered how a German Shepherd would react to water balloons? Today, you will experience our dog's first time from initial confusion to playful curiosity we will capture every moment with them. Okay, let's get started with our adventure. Here is my husband, the master of fun, setting up for us. Look at him go, carefully unwrapping those balloons like they're made of gold. But you know, the next step is to fill them up. And again, look at him, he is such a pro. It's like filling up balloons is his life calling. But we did have quite a few balloons go rogue and drop very fast and they were very sensitive so we were trying to be careful. Here comes the fun part, walking carefully and slowly to the backyard to make sure we didn't pop any more balloons because like I mentioned they were very sensitive to movement and just popped quickly. But we are also trying to stay out of our dog's sight as much as possible to keep them basically surprised and out of the loop because our dogs pick up on our energy very quickly and if we're excited and hiding something from them, they automatically know. But here's my hubby, hard at work again, getting our presentation ready and we are just one step closer to getting the dogs. Come join me and let's go get them. Here we go. First out the door is Axel, the chillest dude and could not care less about the random items in the yard. Next is my mother's dog, Bindi, who we're dog sitting for the week and he was not about it at all. He gave us so many barks. Here comes Bindi, our curious protector, investigating these strange colorful invaders and completely on edge. Meanwhile, Axel is like, eh, I'd rather say hi to mom and dad. Priorities, right? But going back to Bindi, he was just so unsure about everything. He had to walk up to all of it very slowly, inspecting the container that we brought the balloons in and eventually made his way back to the balloon pile for a few sniffs and to see if they would move or do something just to, you know, be sure. Bindi was on a mission, guys. He had to figure out what these weird bouncy things were. Axel, on the other hand, still no interest, which was sad because I thought he would show more curiosity and fun with it. Bindi, on the other hand, was just having fun sniffing the balloons by my side, so he felt a little bit more comfortable. He still got a little spooked, as you see right here, but overall, he did really good. Time to take matters into our own hands. Let's get these boys interested. I wanted to throw the balloons like a ball, which got Axel interested. The first one didn't pop, but they started popping after that and Axel's curiosity got piqued because he realized there was water inside. Now the boys were curious. They wanted to bite these. They wanted them to pop. They just wanted anything to get the water outside. The boys really enjoyed having the balloons thrown like balls. Some didn't pop, some were a piece of cake, and others, well, you see what happened to Bindi. He was okay with it though and had fun. The dogs at this point wanted to just roll the balloons off the platform, try to pop them, or again, just have us throw them so they could pop it. We wanted one last throw with many balloons, and Axel, well, he tried his best. Thank you guys for watching. We do hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe for many more adventures with our dogs and we hope to see you guys soon.